Hey guys, Ike here from Mike'sOutdoors.com. We're here today to do a bow review on the PSC Ferocity. Alright, so the specs on this PSC Ferocity, this thing will shoot up 328 feet per second IVO rating. This has a 6.5 inch brace height. This is available in a 24.5 inch to 30 inch drawing. And it is modular based, super easy to move, and it actually has the draw stop built into it. So when you move the module around, you move the draw stop as well. So it's all one continuous movement, not a lot of tuning, not a lot of effort into uh, changing the draw length on this. So the draw weight on this is another thing that's really impressive about this bow. This actually goes from 28 to 70. Now I saw this on a couple of different websites, PSC's website, well, I mean, the card that came with this boat says it comes to 28 to 70. Some of the other websites out there uh, say 40 to something, 40 some pounds to 70. So, uh, but the card that I got on this bow that you saw in the opening that was actually attached here said 28 to 70 pounds. So I'm assuming that that's the correct uh, draw range on this thing. This thing is is uh, 30 and three quarter inch axle to axle, so short, short little bow, which is great, great for the specs that it has because of the wide range of draw links on this thing and the wide range of draw weights on this bow, it's not really a universal bow, but it's pretty dang close. If you want to set this up for a kid, having that short axle to axle, when they hold it out, it'll make it nice and short for them so it won't be dragging the ground, cams won't be bumping the ground, things like that. Three and a half pounds too, so it's a nice lightweight package, of course bare bow. Uh, it also has 80% let off, so when you get this thing back at full draw, you're not holding hardly any weight at all. So this has the three track ferocity cam on here and when I saw this cam at first, I thought, man, that's an aggressive cam. And I didn't know, I kind of had some preconceived notions about how the draw cycle on this bow was gonna be. But the draw cycle on this bow is actually really, really good. It's really smooth. I saw that draw, sharp drop off right there and I thought, man, that draw cycle is gonna be, gonna be rough. But it is really, really not. It's a really, really good draw cycle. This has a new improved uh, riser on here. It also has this short limb platform that PSE is kind of known for. The other thing about this is it has America's best bow strings on here and I have had zero, zero uh, creep with these things, zero stretch to these things. The riser or the uh, finish on this thing is excellent. It is no, no uh, blemishes in it. No, it's got one little spot right there where I can kind of see a little bit of uh, white to it. One little spot right back here uh, on the cable guard where the cable guard goes in. But other than that, the finish on this is really, really good. The limbs, the finish on the limbs is really good as well. Uh, so pretty impressive as far as the what they put into this bow, considering the price point. This, as a bare bow, is a $450 bow. I got it bare bow, but I've also seen the packages out there that range from 450 for the bare bow, 550 for one set of packages, up to 650 depending on the package that you get. So that's enough talking about this bow. Let's go run this thing through the chronograph and let's go get this thing out on the range and do a little bit of shooting with it. All right, speed test on the PSE Ferocity. This bow is set at 27 and a half inch draw, 70 pounds. It has a D loop and a peep sight on it, and we're gonna be shooting our same three arrows that we always shoot. We're gonna start out with our 354 grain arrow. Next, we have our 454 grain arrow. Last, we have our heavyweight, and this one is 511 grain. All right, let's do some shooting with this thing. Like I said in the in the intro there, 
this cam looks really aggressive and it's putting out pretty good speeds, but I didn't know how the draw cycle was going to be. The draw cycle on this bow is set at 70 pounds right now. A little bit of a hump right there. You can see I had no problem uh, getting that bow over the hump at all. And as far as wanting to take off on you, if you relax a little bit, it wants, it's got a little bit of a, of a pull to it, but overall not too bad, not something that's unmanageable. Back wall, just a little bit of give to it. It's got a cable stop on there, it's rolling around and hitting the cable. Just a little bit of give to it. You can see that cam kind of rolling as I pull on it. Just, oh, just a hair, just a hair. So. Eighty percent let off makes it super easy to hold. The shooter shooting platform, as far as sight pin stability and pin float and everything like that, is really good. This axle or this riser design on here and these short little limbs makes this thing a really really solid bow. That full draw. Of course, it's got the six and a half inch brace height to help it produce some speed. But I'm having zero issues with accuracy with this bow. This bow is putting up exactly the kind of groups that it should at 20, 30, and 40 yards. So zero, zero issues with the accuracy on this bow, even having a six and a half inch gray side. Uh, no string stretch on it whatsoever. Like I said, it's got America's Best bow strings on here. On the shot, bow's quiet. Absolutely super quiet. Got just a little bit of vibration that I can feel in it, um, just a hair. And I'm sure if you put a stabilizer on here, that would go away completely. It's got, I mean, it's just, a, I can kind of, I can almost hear it more than I can feel it. Uh, hand shock, I mean, hand shock, there's almost no uh, shock or vibration going through your hand on the shot, but I can kind of hear it. You can see there, I don't know if you guys could hear that or not, but I'm smacking arrows together up there with this uh, with this thing. So I'm really, really impressed with how accurate it is. So it's a very, very nice grip on here. You're shooting off of the riser. There's no uh, side place or anything like that. The grip is really good. It, it feels good in your hand. It settles good in your hand. The one complaint I have about the grip is where they machine this, it's instead of having a nice radius to it, it's got a little bit of a ridge right here on the back side of it, right in there. It's got a little bit of a ridge. And where I put my hand in there, I can feel that ridge. It's not uncomfortable. It doesn't cause me to have to re-grip the bow and it doesn't cut into my hand and, and cause a lot of pressure on my hand. But I do feel that ridge on there. I'm gonna look up and make sure I wasn't getting into the limb. So that's all the arrows that we've got to shoot out of this thing. So what I'm going to start doing on these bow reviews, and let me know, give me a thumbs up down there, or leave me a comment on whether you like this or not. What I'm going to start doing is cutting something I'm going to call the good and the bad. And basically I'm going to run down the good and the bad on this bow string. The good on this bow is it's a quality bow for the price. You're getting a really, really nice quality bow for the price. It's got America's Best bow strings on here. It's got a really good cam system on here, and got a ton and ton of adjustability on it. It's accurate and it is plenty fast to kill a deer. The uh, riser on here and the finish on it is, is pretty good as well. There's just a few little things here and there, little bitty, teeny tiny, small things. Uh, the adjustability to it is awesome. I love the fact that you can adjust it on the draw length and the draw weight so much. So it makes it a really, really nice user-friendly bow draw cycle on it is really good too. Back walls really solid. Got just a little bit of give to it, but it's really nice, really solid back wall. And the bow feels really good at full draw. It won't take off on you too bad. And it has plenty of let off so when you get back you can really settle in and take the shot. Now the bad on this thing, like I said, it's got just a little bit of a of a, 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 a edge right there in your riser that or the grip that I can feel when I shoot. The limb pockets on here, I'm sure they're a, a good quality, tough, thermo molded, whatever plastic, but they are plastic. Uh, the other thing is, it fell just a little bit short, of, I say a little bit, it fell 10 to 15 feet per second short of the IBO rating on there. We should have been getting right at around 300 feet per second. We were getting right at 286, 288 was about the highest that I got. So it fell 
a little bit short of the IEO rating that they gave this boat. Now, I think the good on this boat definitely outweighs the bad. Those are all the bad things that I could find on this boat. And you can see the list of good versus the list of bad it was extremely, it was a lot longer than the list of bad. So this is a fantastic offering in the mid-range price range from PSE. Like I said, this is a $450 to $650 bow, depending on what kind of package you get on here, if you get a package at all. It's plenty fast to kill a deer. It is really accurate and just really fun to shoot. It's a great, great little bow to shoot. And just couldn't ask for better uh, performance as far as accuracy uh, out of a bow with a six and a half inch brace sight in the $450 to $650 price with the mid, mid price range bow. The speed, like I said, is still plenty to kill anything you want out there. 70 pounds, 27 and a half inch draw. I'm getting about 286 to 288 feet per second. Plenty to kill anything that you want to. So still plenty, plenty fast, even though it's falling a little bit short of that IDO rating. So this is the PSE Ferocity FH and great, great offering in a mid-price range from PSE. So definitely check this out. I think you, I don't think you'll be disappointed in this boat at all. So check it out. We'll put a link below to PSE's website so you can go there and check out this and the full range of bows that they have available. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to these videos and ring that bell to get notifications whenever we put up new videos. Let me know what you think about the new light or good versus bad uh, rundown that we did there at the end. Let me know if you want to keep on us to keep on doing that. It's something we haven't done in the past and something I think that we need to start doing. Uh, so please be sure to follow us on social media as well. We are on Instagram and Facebook and I think Twitter too, maybe even on Twitter under Ike's Outdoors. Appreciate you guys watching.